Hello. For those that are outside, just letting you know, we're going to be doing a funny little panel called the podcast panel. It's going to be so much fun. You should come back in because we can see you standing right outside. That's my popcorn. Don't do that. Don't be afraid to join in. I know. I believe so. We need water. We need water. I'll get water. We're gonna have a very intimate and fun time with you guys. Very intimate. Oh, I got the busted mic again. What? I said I got the dented mic again. It's telling. No, it's still worse. It's just like. Who cares? It works. Yeah. Popcorn makers for making popcorn. Just for the spin. Just for the spin. So, it'd be a lot more intimate. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Um, you can play board games. We're, we're gonna. Yo, woman. Yo. I love board games. Say, I'm gonna bring this to my mom and leave my We're making, we're making some Twitter posts. Jack's Blade. Jack's. Jack's Blade, get your Jack's. No, 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 Jack's. Jack's, you're good. I was gonna say, just pick up the people outside and bring them in. Hey. Oh, we don't need Oh, party foul. Oh. <laughs> party foul. Is there water in a different room? Because I went to water. Yeah! We're just at pool. Can I just bring you I don't know. Why is it not for those that were asking, Gabe is on his wall, he says. Okay, yeah. He will be here. We're going to have some fun. I'm making a tweet right now so people know. <laughs> no, he's going to be in the office. Okay, bye bye. I didn't push you that hard. Definitely. I know that! I know that! Why do you think I'm here? He's practicing his arms. On the right side, I can make it. I can just have to where you're going. What are you doing? I have a few friends of mine who want to go swimming. Bring them over here. I'm going to go swimming. I'm here! Don't I love them? You do. You do. Well, that, but you're here. You are special. This you're guy is going to touch me. Touch. Don't touch! Touch. Get off me. Oh no. <laughs> it's like Deadpool trailer, it's great. <laughs> you know I like it, man. You did film my channel. Yeah, I'll get that to you on Dropbox. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Power to Animaniacs. Yes, it's my favorite segment. I know people didn't like it, but I loved it. Especially when she was a... Make it a big post. Did you ever see that Animal Planet documentary about mermaids? With Lauren? Oh yeah! You mean the fake movie that's not real? Yeah, I watched that one in the sea cow. That was weird. I thought it was being real, but the US government was like, no, that's not a real thing. Like, shut up! But they made the mermaids look like zombies almost. No, they made it look like Avatar blue Navi people. And I was like, that's not how I want my mermaids to be! It wasn't Ariel at all. It wasn't even Madison or anything. Lauren here right now. Can you do the mermaid, like, when the sisters chime in? 
Los latinos. Oh, 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 oh. I want to thank this guy for coming in. My hero. Academia. Oh my God, with water. Mm. Mm. So, how y'all been doing? Good. Really? Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. You have to bring it up here. Mike, Mike thank I'm you. Gonna call you Mike. I'm going to fill my water bottle. I have a glove. He says love, so oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because he loves. Yeah, that's great. Love is awesome. Love is awesome. <laughs> We're slobs right now. How's it going, guys? Good. How are you doing? I like your dipper cosplay. So, just to give an idea of what we're going to be doing here, we're here to have an hour of fun. We're going to be talking with you guys about whatever topics you want to talk about. Um, essentially, this is a combination of two podcasts, the Semi-Perfect Podcast and the POS Podcast, uh, both of which have a very heavy mix of people up here. Everybody that's up here is on the Semi-Perfect Podcast, and then Paleo, if you want to talk a little bit about the POS Podcast. Yeah, the POS Podcast, I host it on my YouTube channel uh, every other uh, Monday night, and I do it with uh, Hirozashi and Saber Spark up here. And we have the like rotating like people to come in. Um, so yeah, we talk about like entertainment news and movies and cartoons and everything. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, <that's amazing. laughs> so essentially, what we're gonna do on uh, on this panel is just like we said, hit up your guys' topics and talk about whatever. Just have some fun. Um, they could be crazy topics or what ifs or whatever. So. I think a little bit later we'll have uh, Vlad Griffin joining us. Maybe. So. <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh my Panama. gosh. Panama Matt? He's got some sushi oh, for us. What, what is this? Wait, where is he? Where is he? Panama Matt? Wait, you're real? He's real? Yeah. What is this? What is, what is, what is that? Wait, wait. wait. You woke up the Panama on that, but not for He's game? not here! Yes. <laughs> what is that, though? <laughs> Where did you get it? Where did you get lamb? You ate a sheep! How dare you? Have? He's eating bellwether. I'm eating popcorn. It was, it's almost as sought after as lamb. Yeah, lamb. My dog seems to be eating. Tenders. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna scoop. We're gonna scoop. Don't don't scoop too far. As oh wait! With, as with any podcast panel, I, I show up a few minutes late, and I'm usually eating anyway. So good. I figured this wasn't anything out of the norm. Yeah. So um, I guess to warm things up, uh, what should we talk about, Sarah? Uh, well, have said. we introduced ourselves? No. Nope. Let's introduce ourselves. Do you want to start? I'm Laura. My I'm name Laura. is Saber Spark. I'm, I'm AC Race Best. Hi, Race. I am Toodles, also known as Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I'm Paleo Steno. Hello. Hi, Paleo uh, Man. I'm Andrew Francis. <laughs> hey, hey, here at Sashi. Here at And I'm AC Race Best, also known as Panama Man. <laughs> and uh, you're going to have to grab a chair and bring it up here. That's Black Griffin. Black Griffin, yeah. everybody. Hey! And then we're just going to. Oh, there he is. That's Basic over there. Hi, Basic. Hi, Basic. <laughs> Hey. This is this is kind of like the convention of massive panels yeah. as far as quantity goes. Come in, come right in. Why are you so well dressed? Why are you in a suit and look so sexy? I mean, good. A VIP cocktail thingy. Why wasn't I invited? You were not. Okay. Did you bring us drinks though? Yeah, we did. 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 Yeah, we here, Joe, come right in here. Come right in. Alright. Excuse me. Squeeze. That's right. I got it. Squeeze. Alright, I got it. Okay. Here we go. Welcome to thank you. So I think to make this easy, I'm gonna give you one of these. Okay, and then you can squish squish back a little bit now. Don't eat the And by the way, some complimentary popcorn. I know it's no 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 no, he doesn't have popcorn. Candy dummies. Oh, you knew. As opposed to. I got them. I just got them down from Disney yesterday. You don't remember. And they're, they're shaped like. Mickey. It depends on well, what area you're, you're 
Never it mind. says Goofy Sour Candy, and they're all Mickeys. So, how's the Quest LA 2017 been so far, guys? Awesome. Yeah. Uh, have you guys had any like favorite panels so far on Friday? This one. Thank you. Hey. Making a, a lopsided heart because that's what mine might look like. So. Fire is out the edge. Yeah. I think this may take the cake. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so worried about all these waters with these mic cords. Yeah, just kind of weaving them back and forth. Oh. What? Fine. Yeah. No, it should be good. So. Um, yeah. So. So we're. Oh. Classified plan. This is it's like when you it's like when you oh, chat see. at the end. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so is there anyone who has any topics that they'd like to discuss? Yes. Good start. If you all had theme songs, what would they be? That's a see, good that is a good oh, that's question! Good Let's start with you and work to the right. Oh, the and he's a director! <laughs> Dude, that sounded painful. <laughs> the table's a lot higher than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> What's your theme song, Phantom on that? <laughs> I, I've never thought about that. That's a really good question. I don't know. Do you guys have any thoughts? I'm not ready for this. It would probably help if I use this. I, I honestly don't know what it would be. I've never, I've never really thought about that. But spur of the moment, possibly the Peter Gunn theme. Which, if you've heard it in the Blues Brothers, yeah. Can I weave it up like a lot? Is that yeah. right? Okay. If anyone has watched Michiko to Hachin, uh, the intro to that show is super cool. It's made by a band called uh, Soil and Pimp Sessions, which is also a super dope name. So I'll uh, probably that song. Actually, no. Let me ask you this part of your world. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, I have a band that I really like listening to called Eleven Acorn Lane. I think they're kind of like a smaller group, um, but they have a song that's uh, titled "I'm Cute." And <laughs> really so good And I guess that would be my NLU. Yeah. Oh, I think Race is pulling up his. Alright, all right, here's mine. Here's mine. Uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> is, that? is that from Ants? It's from Ants. <laughs> when they're just like dancing all together. Oh, that weird. That's such a weird movie. But I feel like that. Oh yeah! Don't give me that power. Oh, now we have toys to use. Here's, here's mine. This is my theme song. I think. I can see you skipping through a field to this, and now you want to put <laughs> It's a screaming cowboy video. Where so for those who don't know, there's this video, uh, it's called like um, Big Enough, and it has this really weird build-up where it just has this big cowboy in the distance like screaming and singing at the same time. You actually look a lot. This looks like something right up my alley. Yeah. There's, I want to try this. Yeah, like that. So mine's not funny, so I'm not gonna play it. Um, I was just gonna say my shot from Hamilton. Yeah! Oh, I should have played it. Cause it was really good. <laughs> I was so awesome. It's one of the weirdest videos. Okay, so I got you. I, my boy. <laughs> I actually start playing it. Yes, yes go yes, for it. Yes. It's not going to be very loud, but okay. Okay. 
He's got the whole thing. He's got the whole thing. No, no, you're good. I, it's, a, it's a cool <laughs> upstart, you know. <laughs> this remind, so that was a great question as far as like topic-wise, because it, like sometimes the topics are going to other directions. How many here know of the low budgets? Okay, so there's a couple of you. Uh, so do you guys know who Tommy is on the low budgets? Yeah. He's actually probably going to be here on Sunday. Um, yeah, so that should be fun. He finds the weirdest songs like while he's driving on the radio. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's like if he had a superpower, that would be his like superhero power. And he, he introduced me to the song that he heard on the radio the other day. The uh, the visuals are pretty trippy. Hello, Dad. I'm in jail. That's Hello, so Dad. Are you just going on Instagram later today? You should tell them the story about how Tommy gave that one song to your teacher. Or his oh, teacher. so there's a song, an old song called "Take This Job and Shove It," <laughs> and Tommy heard that song when he was like. Like in like third grade and he liked it and he's like, you know what next time my teacher says I have to do homework I know what I'm gonna say and he told his job his teacher to take this job and shove it and She didn't like that very much Really? He's he's got some st like that guy can tell you stories just like Man, but yeah, he'll <laughs> we call him baby Tom <laughs> Because when we were interviewing drunk people on Fremont Street, some lady called him Baby Tom, so that's why we called him. Uh, good times. So you you were there. I was not. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Do we have another question? Weirdest words you can think of. Weirdest words we can think of. Heretofore. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's a legal thing. Who's <laughs> You made that up. Possibly better than that. Uh, almost as good as notwithstanding. Ooh, I love notwithstanding. Do they have to be real words? Probably not. Probably not. Don't, don't let that stop you, Gabe. Simple, uh, from the Lion King song. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm Southern, so I use y'all a whole lot, and we do some insane contractions in the South. So uh, one time I unironically said, y'all know you all would die. <laughs> That is like three apostrophes. That is not okay. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. Speaking of southern that. words, there is one word that my mom likes to use. Caddy Wampus. Okay. Is, that, is that a Star Wars monster? Wait, what is this one? Okay, okay. What's what bum puzzle? Okay. Okay. So I did look up ten funny sounding and interesting words, and one of them is bum puzzle. <laughs> what does that mean? It means Dirty. confused, perplexed, and fluster. Sounds like the stuff I have to shave. Keep okay, let's not. No. <laughs> I, I I have one that's uh it's a scientific word um and it's me it means multiple things but I know it because of dolphins. Oh. Um, it's a, a peduncle. <laughs> it's a what? Peduncle. Oh, it's like a failed Pokemon. Yeah, it's it's basically the tail of the dolphin, like oh, the tail muscle. Or I guess like from the dorsal fin to the to the flukes. To the flukes. Yeah, yeah is the peduncle. I like that. Oh, 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 patunko, patunko. Like when you're wrestling somebody. Here's another one. Thank you. Snicker snee. Oh. What? <laughs> to are, you sure not, are you sure it's not from Dr. Seuss? Snicker snee. To engage in cut and thrust fighting with knives. Oh. So, you know, speaking of Dr. Seuss, I want to oh, point this ham. out. It shouldn't be green eggs and ham, it should be green eggs and green ham. Wait, oh, oh, really? You're going there? I'm going there. All right. There's There's a, no, there wasn't a comma there. So, technically, it's green eggs and green ham. That is what the end does there. Exactly. Witter shins. That's a good one. And a left hand in the chili dogs? direction, counterclockwise. <laughs> Who uses these? What? Collie wobbles. But you don't use the wobbles. From Stranger Things too. Like Gubbins. Just things. Well, exactly. Gubbins. Yes. Gubbins. Diphthong. Oh, I know. I know too. Is it a language thing, right? Yes, uh, ma'am. Yes. Diphthong. Two vowel Diphthong. sounds joined in one syllable to form one speech sound. I. Oh, oh that sounds comfortable. <laughs> All right, question from the audience. Fire away, let's go. Yeah, I see your fingers. Uh, who are you pointing at? Were we pointing at the same one? You go for it, go for it. Uh, I was just going to say, those guy with the... We'll get, that, we'll get to everybody. Blue shirt, yeah. Uh, I was wondering if Saber will ever be in the low budgets again. Will I? <laughs> will you? Do you want to be? Fly me out. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> You're the one who's making all the sweet dough. Oh. <laughs> so. Leave my baking job out of this. <laughs> Um, no, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, for those that don't know, on the Low Budgets, um, first off, for those that really don't know, the Low Budgets is a series uh, that I film where uh, Tommy, who I mentioned earlier, and I, we film ourselves preparing and then destroying demolition derby cars in competition. And uh, last Equestria LA, this guy was in a demolition derby, and you didn't pretty good. I lasted for 30 seconds. Yeah, and, and in that one though, you were my good luck charm. Because I ended up winning in a pinky pie pie. <laughs> so, that was cool. Um, and then, uh, so, I always love like bringing in new people, especially like someone like Saber, because he super just like appreciated the whole setting. You were like, Tommy and I were talking about this the other day, Tom, he was like, just loved how much he was just like into it. Mm. Um, there's other people who I should get into. Uh, yeah! Yeah! Yes. Yes. Will your mom let you? <laughs> no. Are you yes, mom lets me do anything. Do you know what he does for a hobby? Flies <laughs> in the air and hopes he doesn't fall out of the sky. So you should, yeah, that sounded like it's a sounding yes. yes. <laughs> it was a resounding yes. It was a sounding sound. round. It sounded around it, yes. Yes, so, yeah, there's there's a couple people. Now, the only issue we're facing right now on the low budgets, unfortunately, is that right really now, low budget. We're super low budget. Is uh, the track that we do it at Irwindale no Speedway is right now slated to close at the end of January? Oh. Yeah. So uh, it basically comes down to the people that own the track, or I should say, that own the land that the track sits on, are different than the people that run the track. So right now they're trying to figure out what they want to do with the land. I'm hopeful that Garnica. Garnica. Yeah, Garnica. Garnica. Oh my goodness. Come in here. Garnish. Garnica! Garnishka. Here, Garnish. Garnish. Bar Mitzvah. I've had for those. I know. Garnica. As he, as he walks up, I was just going to say, we're, we're hoping that it, it is able to continue, but right now we're unsure of the future of that show, oh but God, hopefully. Oh my God, you're a suit. Hopefully. Garnica! Oh, yeah? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Tell a joke! Tell a joke! Tell a song for us. What is, what is popcorn? What is popcorn? Usually by the way. That's the joke. I don't get it. <laughs> That was good. That was an excellent joke. Welcome to the Rusty Joke. Semi perfect podcast and POS podcast. Garnica, ladies and gentlemen. You're, Garnica, this is like a, a kind of a big weekend for you because it's uh, a bit of a, well, send off in more ways than one, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you can use a mic. There you oh, go. I like mics. Let's talk about why this weekend is so special. Um, this weekend is really special because this is actually my big send off finale show from. Uh, the Brony fandom. So, yeah, so sad day, but kind of like bittersweet day. Basically, I'm going back to school. I'm not going to be able to dedicate enough time to traveling and doing convention shows um, anymore. However, I will still be making music and putting out things under Garnica. It's just like, for the past two years, I've been in a different state every month, and now I'm like, oh, I gotta go to school, and this is hard to do when you're in school. Yeah. Have me do what? Like Skype, like Skype me, Skype like for the concert and get that sick, you know, 320. They'll, they'll come to me and say, Race, we need you to Skype Garnica. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like featuring AC Race Best and like the question marks. Well, <laughs> you know what's funny is like you, we have this with a couple people in the fandom where like I, I, every time I look at an older video, I realize I'm like, my gosh, I didn't realize how long you and I have like run right. each other and like with Saber and all of us. It's like, we've been running into each other like since like 2012. Yeah, no, it's been like crazy, dude. Like, I'm gonna take off this jacket all the time. I was wondering what you were just like, yeah, you know? <laughs> but yeah, no, like, I've been like running into you guys. We've had this weird report where we're like really, really, really cool with each other, but we don't talk like at all unless it's who's like. <laughs> and it's, it's super fun to do that, you know? But I like, I find those times where I'm like, dang, I wanna hang out with them. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> and then the weekend's over, and, and I'm like, oh, they time to go home, I guess. Where are they? Yeah, I never see you. Are you kidding? We're the ones going, where's Gabe? Well, we're both doing that. I think we're either in the upside down, or, well, one of us is, and the other one is. <laughs> <laughs> or the inside out. The inside out. We, by the way, we don't want to hold you up unless you wanted to. Oh, no, I was like, I, I can't remember what I was doing. I was walking with somebody. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. All right, so that's, that's Andrew. Make some noise for him. Thanks, he's, Andrew. He's, 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 he's going to get the tech, and that is his lovely girlfriend. Make some noise for her as well. Oh yeah, Andrew. 
Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like one of my best friends right there, dude. He's a he's a cool dude. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Giving you the big shout out. Trying to embarrass you, but it's not working. No. Go what the heck. <laughs> Get out of here. What's good? What's that? What are you doing? Well, if you want, if you want to chill. Oh no. Well, yeah, on here. Yeah, I mean, as whatever no, you want. Netflix. I want okay. to kick with you guys. I haven't seen any of you like all weekend. Let's hang. Yeah. Let's, Let's hang. hang. You want to hang? So we're just we're just hitting up like really random topics right now. I know we have a couple that were over here. Uh, raise a hand, anyone that had a topic. Let's start with you. <laughs> weirdest thing that happened at an EQLA. Mm. Oh man, I wish this was the weirdest thing that happened at a con. Go for it. Just cons in general? Cons in general? Or like EQLA? Sticks in the elevator. Wait, wait, so now this isn't just Equestria Or it is Equestria Cons? Cons doesn't show it. That's actually a really... That was a good one for you. What's up? Like, because cons in general, like, dude, the Midwest is weird, but LA's pretty tame. <laughs> LA is tame? LA, well, I mean, the LA convention scene. Like, at least this one. I had someone follow me into the bathroom and talk behind me while okay, I was going. Okay, weird. I apologized about that. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> still a little weird, man. Yeah. Well, actually, the best part is, wasn't that? No, Vincent did that too, but he did. Oh, too. oh, that was so. That's actually happened. Yeah, it's happened like legit. No, Vincent was in the spot next to me. Like, I don't know, Blake Griffin. Hi. And I was like, hi. I'm like, who the heck? And then we were washing our hands. He's like, <laughs> when I was washing, I don't think he washed his hands. <laughs> Oh my god, he's giving you that lowercase a from behind the stall, you know, you're just like doing your business and he's just sitting there like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it back to Eco like 2012, just because it was like one of those like moments that we always refer back to. But during opening ceremonies, or right before oh, yeah. I got going, they oh. had this guy playing like organ music at the front. Actually, I think it was just a piano. I don't know, it was... It was electronic, and he uh, he was playing this day. No, this well, day aria. It was this day aria. Yeah, and everybody was singing in it. Was anyone here at, in 2012 UCLA? Yeah, man, we got a lot of great verses. Um, and everybody was singing together, but like kind of like a little bit low, like like not really. And they're all standing up. It was like I was like. Hey, like, no, they, they were sitting. But they were standing. I were they standing? standing? I thought they were standing. Maybe they were standing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, whatever. Yeah, there's, there's, they were on their knees. Russian squats. <laughs> and, and yeah, and they're, they're sitting there, and, and it just sounds like, This day was going to be perfect. <laughs> but like, imagine like, you know, 150 people saying that. And Saber, uh, you know, we're just getting to know each other on a friend level. And he, he's like, guys, come on. It's time for church. <laughs> And I, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna next level this. And I hand him my camera, and I walk down the aisle. And there's like these weird like spotlights, <laughs> and I go down to one of those spotlights, and I get down on my knees and start praying. <laughs> and all the people are like looking over to the from their lefts and rights, and they're like, what's he doing? <laughs> well, and they had the the stream on the screen, mm -hmm. and the camera cut down to me, and all of a sudden I was like, because <laughs> you just see my hand come up and look like you killed yeah. me that night. That was a good time. That was that was a good time. And that's how they got famous. That's how, that's, that's how it happened. That's it, yeah. So yeah, we've had a lot of good time. Any other? Oh man, okay, so I've always kind of been staff at EQLA, so I've been on the best behavior. However, Everfree 2013, I got into a car accident. What? Yeah, wait, what? That, have I not? What? Did I tell you there were like five of you in that car accident. What oh yeah, there was. Like, yeah. okay, so I told you this story. Like, this is just like my go-to thing for weird things that have happened, because it's pretty out there. So, like, wait, were you in the car? No. No, you weren't. I saw, I was in your box. You were in your box. Were you one of the bystanders on the sidewalk watching this madness go down? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, so he was there. He came out. Uh, so, basically, we had a bunch of musicians at Hotel A. We needed to get back to Con Hotel B. We only had a car that could sit like three legally, oh, but it had a bed. Oh. And we were like, yo, we're smart. <laughs> We got seven people, let's go. And so like three people in the front, four people in the back with some weird oatmeal-like substance. It was really weird. And like, yeah, it was just like, like, like seeds or something. So we're like all there, we're a block away from the convention and we're like stopped at a light and then we get rear-ended 
by some like Armenian dude. And so I was like, I've been in a car accident before, so I know what that smells like when your radiator starts cooking. Oh yeah. And I'm like, oh man. And so I did what any responsible adult would do in that situation. And I popped open the back and I waved and I jumped out and I ran to the sidewalk and pretended like nothing happened. And then everybody else followed suit. And then my friends got out of the cabin like, yo, are you good? And we're like, yeah. Can you close that up? You know, just, and so like he closes up the back of his truck, which took it like a champ, by the way, like just not a scratch. Everybody was fine. And then that's it. And then the Armenian guy was like, you, 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 what did you do? And, you know, and, like, and so he's all pissed off. He's like, what are you doing in the back of the car? What are you doing jumping out of the back of the car? And so I asked him, like the smart aleck guy I am, I'm like, excuse me, sir. I think a better question right now would be, what are you doing running into the back of our car? <laughs> and he just kind of like lost his mind. He like broke down. He's like, what? What? He's like that guy from Avatar with the marbles. <laughs> like he's freaking out. And then all of a sudden, the sirens happen. They're coming around the corner. And so I turned to the group and I'm like, let's go. And we left. <laughs> and we hit out in the double tree for like an hour. And then like we waited like three years and like never told the soul just That's in beautiful. Peace. It was really scary, but that is probably the weirdest thing ever. And I wish that happened to DQLA so it would be pertainable to this topic, but it's not, so <laughs> all right. I think you win. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't know this was a competition. It is always a competition. Alright, next question. Nora, what's up? Cool. <laughs> nice question. Nora. Right, next question. Okay. My question, uh, actually it's for uh, Laura and Sarah. How do you deal with all of this chaos? Um, sometimes I wonder that myself. <laughs> uh, and we just touch very well, I guess. I don't know. I, I just, I know what I signed up for. <laughs> there was a waiver involved, so, yeah. How long was it? <laughs> That's inappropriate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's shorter. No, never mind. <laughs> what about Laura? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one wearing the Bernie dad hat. So. <laughs> She's the crazy one. <laughs> Other questions? What's yes. Up? So, in like the whole group, have you guys, I mean, because y'all seem really tight, you know, really good friends and all that, but like, in every friendship, there's, you know, a rocky patch. Have you ever, like, kind of gotten mad at each other and gotten, like, oh, like... <laughs> I can't remember. Paleo and I got into, like, some of a fight once. Yeah, it was, like, during when we were making the documentary. Yeah, I remember yeah. I was like, I'm like, Paleo, just shut up and just get to work. And he's like, Samer, I swear to God, I'm gonna quit right now! <laughs> and I was like, like, I felt like I was, like, talking, like, off, like, from, like, not jumping off a cliff. I'm like, okay, it's okay, it's cool. <laughs> Don't do it, man. And then like, I mean, what scares me are when people like, I, I get loud, and like, oh. so but people like Paleo or Hero, like if y'all ever scream and freak out, I'd be like, run! <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys? Oh, no. hey, we don't hang out enough to fight. Yeah. <laughs> We're not really friends. There, you know? there was a moment, I, I, it was more of like a, a playful, funny moment that we always refer back to at BabsCon. When, uh, <laughs> you and oh, I... Oh, yeah. So, Saber promised me... Oh, oh, I hate this story. Oh. No, this is, this is so stupid. You I, I, you. I will defend myself during this story. Well, so will I. Oh, of course you will, you stubborn goat. You're gonna cause the fight right now. Just this is the fight. So, so... Saber... the most stubborn person I know. The most stubborn person. I really am. He's a goat. Saber promised me. He was always... Like, promising anything. Prom we 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 pulling up a text. Oh, no. Whatever. He, he's raced one of these. He told me for the twenty eighth time. It was special. Yeah. Whatever. All right. We went to Babscon and and I was. I guess I might have said, let's go see a movie later that evening. No, you said it before maybe, we got to the convention. Maybe if we're not busy. And uh, and then there was, well, there was a lovely room that. party that Dusty was hosting. Didn't have that Dusty. Right. Movie. It had friends and meatballs, free meatballs, all this wonderful food. I was so content and happy, had a full happy belly. And Rachel, you brought me to one of those Utopia. We went to the party. For five minutes! That was enough to get a meatball. No, it was not. For so me, it was. No, I wanted to hang out. 
and you were like sulking about going to see Zootopia. No, I, I couldn't I just, even wrap my mind. I'm like, you've seen it like 28 times. Like, why do you want to see it again? And uh, and then and poor, our buddy Matt was there, and he was the one chauffeuring us to the, to the movie theater. <laughs> and it's like a taxi cab driver driving home, like an angry couple who are like oh, bickering. No. We were like in the back screaming at each other. And Matt's like, well, it's good to be here, friends. <laughs> and yeah, and, and, and like Matt went on Discord, and like we, we could hear like the other became like, involved in it. Yeah. It was, you all side with me, right? It was he made it, right? He streamed, he streamed your argument on yeah. Discord? That's amazing. Yeah, he, that is I, stupid and funny. Awesome. I just thought it would be real special to be with my friends at BabsCon and, and watch a movie. The worst part about it is that we got to the movie theater and the movie started and I closed my eyes and then <laughs> and then I open my eyes and I hear, oh, 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 oh. He's like, he's like, oh, so it's still like five minutes into the movie and you realize the credits were rolling. The credits were rolling. I'm like, I slept through the movie. <laughs> good man. Oh, no, was no it funny. was it was funny. Like to me, it was it was funny because like, oh good, I'm glad you had a good time. No, I, well, I mean, I got what I wanted. So uh, the twentieth time you got what you wanted. All right, fine. I saw thirty times. Thirty. Oh, whatever. <laughs> How did I get to twenty-eight? Or five? Anyways, no, but it, it's like I crack up at that story because I didn't. I, like it sounds a lot more intense than it was, but I remember the thing you always called out from it <laughs> was was my silent treatment moment. Oh. I was just like, you know what? It's fine. We don't have to go. And that was like the turning yeah, yeah, point. I was like, I'm like, this guy's like a wife. I don't want this. I, I'm like, what, what, what do I have to do? We don't have to go. Yeah, yeah, you did do that. You pulled that. Like, never mind. And it worked. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> you actually, I think you called out. You're like. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, my girlfriend. Stop. That was annoying. I, well, at the time, yeah. Well, we broke up. Oh. After that. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. Zootopia. I still ship it. You know. That. I know. And, <laughs> speaking of shipping, these two are like, you two. Someday. Uh, someday. That pesky proposal of yours to your girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It's just a decoy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never suspect. Uh, any other questions? Uh, let's let's try a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the lemonade? You. Oh my gosh. What is it? It's lemonade. Lemonade. Like made of John Lennon. Like the lemonade like that we always talk about. What? Lemonade. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. My God. You a comrade. So what? Explain. You, what is this? That's what? You describe it's, it to us. Uh, soda that was. It started back in the Cold War. So. For real? Yeah. This is a, this is like a legit like Russian made like. No, for the. <laughs> Propaganda soda. No kidding. Yeah, that's they sell awesome. It in Cold War and now they still sell it. Is it soda or yeah. is it like beer? Because it says get hammered. Soda. <laughs> well, it's the hammer and sickle thing. Like, get hammered and sickle. It's soda. I'm going to be really disappointed there's not yeah. all this. Is this ours? Right. All right. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. I pull out some. Do we have more cups back there? We do. Nope. Oh! It's got a bottle Yeah, we need to try it up first. Don't you, no, don't you shake that. Up. <laughs> like the Soviet Union. Should we get more uh, cups? I think I need more cups. Give me, give me, please. Go get some cups, you goobers. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. 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 The bottle cap says lemonade. The drink for the man. Oh, underneath. The L is the key. Six is house key. Now we can get into your house. Underneath it says there is no I in KGB. T. What? Well, the radio station. Is that okay. Yeah, that was good. Alright. Oh, yeah, we can be only open one. This one's so all right. no, no, We're glad you all came out to watch us drink soda on this panel. Alright, can I just really watch it all? It's going just like okay. that. Time to break my sexy love, no soda streak. Let's try this stuff. I know the other one. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this out. So, we do. Yeah, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Take one and pass it, yeah. Take one and pass it. This way we'll all touch the cups. 99 brownies on the wall. Thank you. So what we do uh, on our podcast, by the way, um, Paleo, your podcast is bi-weekly Mondays, right? That's right. More cups. Oh, we need all the cups. Oh, yeah, yeah, cups. Right, we should be good with these. Uh, and what, what we do, uh, the Semi-Perfect podcast is on Wednesdays bi-weekly. 
and we'll do food posts, and we always see this lemonade stuff, and we've always been like mystified by it. It's pretty good. I always thought it's pretty tasty lemonade. for real. Yeah. Oh, you. You guys ready to move? I like it. You. It's the right color. Oh, that's right. I want to drink another lava. Thank you. Is there orange in it? That tastes nothing like orange. Is there orange in it? That tastes nothing like orange. How are we on now? I have seven more bottles in my hotel room, so. That's really nice of you. He looks so much like Tombstone. What? You look like Tombstone so much. I don't know. I see him. That's Tombstone. He's back. That's really good. So is it produced in Russia? No, here. Here, okay. California. Is it the same like company for Hunk Jones Soda? It's a real soda. That's the company. Oh, okay, cool. So they don't make any of that fake stuff where they get you every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on to another question. Uh, yes, you right there. Yes. Okay, so it's Nitro, like, technically Anaheim, but LA. So since on the subject of LA, favorite street food or food truck? Oh, oh my god, churros. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Ooh, and, um, What's yours, Gabe? I don't know, I was gonna make a oh, stupid sorry. joke about sushi burritos. Sushi. Ooh, yeah. Street, street, street. Yeah. yeah, that's a that thing. Food, uh, yeah. where's it? Oh, shoot. Follow it on Twitter. Let me think about it. I'll get back to that. Kenji tacos. Mm. Also oh, good. man. They have a lot of bacon. Mm -hmm. So much bacon. I, I don't know. I, I love, like, like LA street dogs with, like, <gasps> bacon wrapped. Oh, my gosh. Like, the ones that, like, like, come, like, from that, like, little, like, just mobile grill. Heaven. And they come from heaven. Yeah, and they just kind of do their thing. <laughs> yeah. I guess I got some stuff. It's beautiful. Yeah. Love that. So I'll that. I'm from not California, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you guys are really a food Is trucks. this like LA specific street foods? Because I don't think I've ever had anything not from LA specific. Okay, well, I guess, okay, so it's a little unfair because I've been to Japan. So like yakisoba, anything from a festival, yep. it's just so good. Okay, so saying the, on the Binda Japan topic, now I can say words. Yes. Um, my favorite street food just in general <laughs> is that there was this place, I don't remember what it was actually called because everyone in the Navy called it Taliban Taco. <laughs> but it was, uh, I know what you're talking about. It was, yeah, yeah, it was on Walking Street in Yokosuka. Yeah. And there was this dude um, that sold these like kebabs in a piece of bread. What? It was so good. I, I, yeah, it was, yeah. It was the best, like, drunk food ever. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. Because there's, like, those bars all along the street, and you just walk out. Oh, the hot <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing, though. Okay. I didn't get drunk, like, that often, or ever, pretty much, in Japan. But I feel like everyone, talk was good. everyone and their grandma has been to Japan that I talked to. And here I am, I learned this language for like 10 years, and I still have not gone to <laughs> Jordan. What am I doing? Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> go right now. Go right now. Let's go. You're almost there. It's a right now. Right now. Let's go. You're, right. you're getting on a plane to go right home. Now. Just go a little far. Right now. Hero, do it. Bye. Hero. 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 Uh, that was your band. Sayonara. That's so close. You know, they, they always well, say that the first step of the journey is always the party. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the money. 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 <laughs> Alright, question from the audience. Uh, Dip, let's go back to you. Uh, this is a uh, person specific question. Bearing in mind that his, char that his character skills are more than half the people's black foods. Gabe, what are your thoughts on Big and Tom? <laughs> on the person? <clears throat> and his characters. Yes, uh, very uh, different opinions. <laughs> very different opinions, you see. Um, his characters. Well, let's talk about Vincent first. <laughs> Vincent, like, it, when I'm not teasing him or pretending that we're secretly in love, um, he's just awesome. I, I sort of hate him because I'm jealous of him, but he said that he sort of hates me because he's jealous of me too, so I guess we're in good company. Yeah. Um, he's, but like, legitimately, he's an extremely nice guy. He's smart, he's funny, he's extremely talented. He's just really cool. So I, re I really do like Vincent very much. But don't quote me on that, and I'll deny it if you ever ask me again. <laughs> and his character is terrible. <laughs> and then uh, you had a question there in the front. Yeah. Um, so with the MLP movie having been out for about a month already, and I'm assuming most of you having already seen it, how are you gonna do a Guardians of the Galaxy? I haven't seen it. Nope. 
<gasps> he's waiting. He's waiting to do it for the Brody's react, guys. I'm so waiting until marriage. Thank you. Just come, just come to Miami. You can see it with me. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, wait, is there the anyone here out of curiosity? That's fine. Anyone here who hasn't seen the movie yet? Wait, what? Whoa. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Well, so it's really interesting. People. They they turn into people. <laughs> That one? Oh, wow. Yeah. No spoilers. Slowpoke. The question is, <laughs> the first. Did I say the date this time? Yeah, she, 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 she's, she's joking, by the way, dude. And they got. Yeah. Um, they have, like, yeah, there's, like, the whole, like, you know, man's <laughs> jokes and stuff. We could use wet pants, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, we what, was the, the, what was the question? Oh, how are we going to do a Brony's rap? Well, we got to wait for a Blu ray, right? We, I'm, I'm waiting for it to come out on home video. Um, I'm not going to mess with anything that's like, oh, someone filmed it or acquired it in a bad way. I'm like, oh, I want to wait to at least for it to get out on home video. I'm, yeah, some of you might not know this, but like pretty much all the producers of My Little Pony watch Brony's React. Um, so if. You know, he does have to be a little bit careful with. I want to. I want to. You know, I, I, again, I want to. Oh, plus, it, it gives us because we have a really big stack of Barney's reacts right now lined up. We're right now working on uh, Perfect Pair episode. Still? Uh, right. Excuse me. Still. 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 And then, uh, and then after that, we're going to be working on the season seven finale. And then I'm hoping they just take their time with releasing the home video stuff for the MLP movie. Um, the it one in December. What? It said it comes. It comes out in December. Does it? Actually, I don't know. I hope not. And it, it, comes but, out, I, it comes out on video on demand in December, but it comes out on video in January. Good. So oh, okay. help me out. Like January um, or something. As in okay. regards to uh, there's the one thing I don't know is as if we're gonna have issues with the copyright side of things with that Brony's rack. Like we're gonna go all in and hope not, but I. I haven't dealt as much with who is it that released Lionsgate? Yeah, yeah Lionsgate. So we can only hope. It's okay. That, uh, just just reanimate it yourself, you know. Reanimate it. You can do revoice it. Re sing it. We'll be good. The reason I was asking is, is this like, is it really gonna? Can you count it as a reaction if they've already seen it? No. So Gabe's the only one who's gonna be in it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> there's there's some people do the reacts differently. Um, some people like to flesh out their initial reactions. Like for me, when I typically uh, I'll watch like the finale. I waited to watch it until I could film myself watching it, and then I'm sitting there pausing it a lot. Like you know, I don't watch it uh, an episode in 22 minutes. I, it takes how long does it take? Like two hours. And it's because I'm pausing a lot, and sometimes if I want to like, oh, I want to do a joke, I need to like pause and go find a prop or something, and I'll, I'll come back and, and then like be able to do the joke if it's, you know, fleshed out a little bit more. But um, some people do do, most people, uh, do do. <laughs> Thank you, Garnet Jack. Um, the uh, first viewing, and then some Yeah, people... I will just watch it all the way through, uh, and then I'll uh, record myself. Um, just like doing what you, you were saying, just pausing it you know, if I think of something. Yeah, I'm watching. So so people do different things differently. Um, that's one reason why, like at the beginning, it's uh, what do I put professional at the beginning? Professional movies on course. Close. No, we're course. very unprofessional. Um, but it's uh, oh, it's his dramatization of actual events, and that's because I think the first time I made one of these type of episode reacts, it was one that everyone had already seen. It was the season two finale. No. Yeah, it was the finale. I like how I was sitting there like, did we do the Discord? No, we didn't. No, it's the season two finale. And um, at that point, everyone was like, we have to do it. But we all knew we had to do it because we had all seen the episode. So we're like, we got to go back and, and film ourselves watching it again. So that's why I've always kept that in there because I think it's it's kind of fun to just have the whole dramatization thing. But some people think like we script everything, that I write out scripts for everybody. I'm like, do you, how much time do you think I got? <laughs> no, but that's, so yeah, we'll, we'll still make it work. Yes, Nora? First of all. Oh, wow. Where'd you go? She's gone. That's it. Good question. Shut up. Second of all, okay, Gabe, you do a lot of performances. What's been your funniest moment during performance? Question. It's funny because I'll remember something and I'll be like, oh, this is a great story. I have to remember this next time I'm like, oh, and then I get it. 
Um, there was a time when I was uh, still in the Navy and I was doing some show in, I think, the Philippines. And I was at a school, a high school. And I walked out into the audience to do one of the songs. And there was this little boy. <laughs> and he grabbed my leg and then he wouldn't let go. And so I started kind of walking away, but he just stayed on. And I actually dragged him all the way to the stage before one of the teachers actually came and like unwrapped him. So that was, that was a moment. But then, I think okay. recently I kind of fell backwards after a backflip too, which was a little embarrassing. Yeah. But I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's that's close enough. That's crazy. All right. Other questions? We still got about yes, you. Yep. Ever heard of a show called Philly Fantasia? I have. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to think yes. of for the ripping. Oh, that was cool. We'll have to do that sometime. Yeah. I feel like Philly Fantasia. It was, I don't remember that. It was a rip off. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. Fools react. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a clone. <laughs> I think it was like some Chinese clone that. Yeah, they're all like wispy tails. <laughs> they they definitely didn't look at G four and just thought it's G three again <laughs> for that. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would be fun to <laughs> to riff. Yeah. Yeah. Do it next Write time. that down. I'm writing it down. Good. Good. Uh, any other questions, guys? Hey, again, we have about ten minutes left. They could be random questions, whatever. Yeah. Silverback girl or a grizzly bear? Silverback with loose. No. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah you always argue for the bear. Silverbacks, silverbacks are huge. Are huge. Oh. And they're intelligent. Yes. Yeah, it would rip Thank you. a silverback yeah. versus a grizzly bear, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A gorilla. Yeah. Here, you're about to be wrong. Oh. Yeah. How can you video proof? Wait, wait, Dave, did you did you see <laughs> the gorilla? Zoo. I did. Yeah, because yeah. I got the gorilla side. The gorilla yeah. win. I have a gorilla. The gorilla. The gorilla. They don't the look do that, that big, they are insanely strong. Dude, what, what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bear size and tail. Silverback. Okay, I gotta say the gorilla. The gorilla. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, yeah. now yeah. maybe a Kodiak yeah. bear, like an Alaskan Kodiak bear, might stand a it's chance. Who do you think? A grizzly bear. Yeah. The grizzlies aren't as big. Dude, the bears are a grizzly bear. Saber, what is wrong with you? He's very passionate about this. Let me show Laura, Laura, who do you think would win? I think the gorilla would win. Okay. Saber, I give you up. credit, man, no, for sticking to your guns. Saber, you know the grizzly bear would like. <laughs> so, so one weighs a max six hundred pounds, being the grizzly bear, and the other one's four hundred thirty pounds, being the silverback. Have you seen a bear's claws before? A grizzly bear's claws are like. They're really they, soft. Look, but they can't look. But they're not as dexterous. They're not as. That's a Kodiak bear. Who cares? They're much bigger than grizzly they bears. Are. So what? <laughs> they, they, this might stand a chance. Yeah. The grizzly bear was so close. Cool. What's the grizzly gonna do? Like make a movie series about yeah. it or something? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. King Kong beat three T Rexes by himself. Oh, what well, point attacks, <laughs> boy? <laughs> dude, dude, have you ever heard of a series game? Huh? Yeah. Wow. Because have you fought a gorilla before? I haven't. There. That means a reason. Uh, they're they're gigantic. They're you're saying it's gigantic, but a grizzly bear is bigger, so it doesn't matter. It's matter. It's gigantic. It's 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 a gigantic. It's a, it's a, so what? I, 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 I'm smarter than a, a, a grizzlies are not. I'm smarter than a bear. Am I might have done arithmetic and go two plus two equals four, and you goes like one. A, a grizzly bear is not designed. What does smart have to do with it? To a fight is not designed to for dominance. What is it? Fight its a own kind and kill big prey. They, they what, a grizzly bear or, or a silverback? A grizzly bear. Uh, silverbacks do fight each other. No, they silverbacks eat moose. Repeatedly. What? Uh, oh my God. Silverbacks eat moose. Uh, uh, Oh. Grizzlies do not typically attack large prey. Typically, they eat fish. That's the majority of their diet. I can't believe you right now. Like, gorillas, gorillas. Yeah. Have you not seen Planet of the Apes? I'm sorry. <laughs> the Canadian version where they ride on moose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be right, but I don't. I, I think I don't the silverbacks you. are insanely. They got palm. Oh, I will slap you to death. What? <laughs> what, 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 what the bear would roar in the gorilla's face, and they go, whoa, and the gorilla just snaps his jaw. Like, yeah, gorillas yeah, are intense, but no, I don't get the intelligence in the way they're going to box it. They have higher density, so they much. have more folds in their brain, their body is more advanced, and they're more adapted oh my God, to fighting. Oh my God, you did it! You're wrong. This gentleman, do we have another question? We got a question. Yes, yes. 
I don't think so. So what made you fall in love with Zootopia so much? It's one dumb question to another, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, the, I think the thing that, it's weird, I didn't really, I wasn't really excited about Zootopia before it came out. Uh, it, it, I didn't see it actually until I think I saw a preview for it in Disneyland. Okay. And then I was like, oh, oh, maybe this movie would be interesting. She had to like <laughs> beg me to see it on, uh, because we were going to see it on a Tuesday. And she's like, can we please see it tonight? It was a Sunday night. And I'm like, okay, I won't get my discounted popcorn, but sure, I guess we can go <laughs> Sunday night. And uh, we saw it the first time. I'm like, this is really good. Like, I, that was, that was pretty good. I liked it. Saw it a second time, I'm like, no, I mean, I really like that movie. And we had already planned to see it for a third time oh. with a friend. And after the third time, I was sitting there, what? I said he was a fairy. And then the, the transformation was complete. Oh, I, oh, I, I don't know, like, it, I, I just, I told Sarah, I'm like, Sarah, I've come to the realization, I have to watch this movie at least once a week for as long as it's in theaters. And I ended up seeing it 30 times in theaters. I think it's the characters. I think it's it's the dynamic. Yeah, you did it at Judy Hopps' car and Nick Wilde's car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I won in the Judy Hopps' car. I know. I won a Demolition Derby with big bunny ears that she painted up. It's still sitting in my garage. I love that you know like what year it was, but no, but yeah, it was the characters. I think I loved the story, but the characters I thought were so just endearing. I loved the the, the whole dynamic between Judy and Nick, and then and then the I thought the music was great. I love the animation, and I love movies with animals doing like stuff like that. I love the Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. They're still arguing about this, by the way. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is it going back? Just to continue on the whole thing with Zootopia, it, I feel like it's very much a trend to where I'm into a thing and then I try to drag him into it and then he becomes more obsessed with that thing than I am. Like with My Little Pony? Yes. Uh, it happened with My Little Pony and now it's happened with Zootopia and I think Zootopia has just kind of leaps and bounds surpassed what I thought it would for you. Yeah, well, yeah. No, I have so much merchandise and I'm so happy and I always want more merchandise. And I'm always like, Sarah, can I please get the fifth of this type of Judy Hopps plush? And she sometimes is like, well, actually, you're always like, what? No. But someday she's gonna, let me get that fifth. Someday. It's gonna happen. There is a Judy Hopps body pillow in the vendor hall. It's like this big... No, there's like a... You can get the full-size one. There's a full-size one yeah, in the vendor hall? Yeah. No. <laughs> there is. Laura, can you help me out? Like, help me talk her into it. Hey, Sarah, can you get one? No. Sorry, I tried. <laughs> what? <gasps> no. Well, at that point, how could she say no to, like, if someone gave a gift, right? Uh, please don't. Please. <laughs> She's really saying please do because she knows that must be the most comfortable pillow in the world. I just get her record mouse up because she needs a movie and you need to do it. She gets a movie. She gets a sequel. Time, time out. You have toys. Yeah, yeah. I see your hands up. Wait one second. Guys. Yeah. The gorilla's going to win. We're doing a panel here. What, what's, your, what's your question? Uh, but not like Bernie's How does someone get involved with like the Who's Line is it anyways? Oh. Um the the Who's Line stuff, um we actually we we didn't start doing that now it sounds so quiet over here. Because we're looking at bears. Okay, oh, okay. okay. It, the Who's Line stuff actually started as a panel um that we were uh asked to join in on at Fiesta Equestria. And they they were doing it, they had already set up their game and everything, so we didn't do the Who's Line shows. We eventually became asked to start running them. Uh, I think one year at BronyCon, it, it actually landed in Saber's lap uh, because the people that were running it, I, I don't know if they weren't able to or they just asked us to take it over at some point. Um, so Saber started running it from that point and we realized, well, why don't we do this at all the conventions that we're going to? And because it's such a hit and, and it's been absolutely Fun as far as getting involved, we uh, are, are like we call them like ourselves the 
or we don't call ourselves, but we refer to it, each other as like the original four that we started doing it with, which is Henry Beavitz, who's going to be here this weekend. Um, who? The buddy. No, just, I'm just the, oh, the buddy. Um, it's Saber, myself, and uh, Gabe. And um, and so that's that's been like our our original group that we started doing it with. It started going really well, and obviously people have been enjoying it. And uh, but then there's sometimes where we get to a convention where we're like, hey, it'd be great to you know see if someone could fill in. And I remember when we had Garnica join us in, and that was just a, a knockout and. Because the it's a lot about energy, charisma, and you've got a lot of that boy. Like man, I love I love the fact that you guys brought me on for that. that is, like that is like easily like one of the funnest things that I get to do at conventions now is just hop on with you guys. That is so cool. I love it. Like oh, you guys, I love you so much. Love in my heart. Hey, in 2018, we'll do some more. Oh yeah, dude, definitely. Like I'll still like I want to keep coming to cons. It's just like. It's gonna be hard to like do so many. I hear you. I, with school and stuff, I mean, you gotta. There comes a time where you're like, I gotta focus on stuff. But it, like you said, it doesn't mean you're like losing touch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose touch. But like, if you see like question marks on any ballots for 2018, you know who it is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you there want you go. Your present is what you're saying. There you uh, go. Oh, of course. Like I have, I have so much love for this community. Like it would be such a shame to just like lose connection. I love you guys. Like you guys are. Oh, I said president. Like. Presidents. I like to- No, president! President. It was so sweet, Nora. Just let him say what well, he was saying. Obama is still alive, okay? It's not president. <laughs> well, Garnica, I want to just finish this off with saying thank you for all the contributions you've thrown into this. It's been a, a real fun ride. <laughs> this ain't my panel. Make some- Sorry. Make some noise for AC Race Fest. I'm throwing that right back. Oh, his contribution system. I wanna, I wanna say thank you to everybody that joined in on this panel. We're yes. actually at the end time for it, but guys, thank you for all joining us here. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're, this is only Friday night. There's still so much more to go. Remember, speaking of Who's Line, Sunday morning, we're gonna be doing that in the main hall. There's also gonna be a Bronies Rag later that day. Saturday, I know we got a bunch of stuff going on as well. We're, there's gonna be a Zootopia panel tomorrow. Uh -huh. But again, thank you guys. Did everyone just get here? That, okay, let's restart. <laughs> no, but uh, again, thank you guys for coming out. I hope you have a great rest of your Equestria Late 2017. The Larry is starting to kick in. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Nice to be done.